So guys, we're currently across the bay from where our base is up in the map. So we are here and our base is our, of this way. Is it? No, it's over here. Sorry. Yeah. So I've just literally gone straight across. Uh, and this is where I am currently collecting uh, trees. Now in this area we have pine, which is great, which is fantastic actually. Because uh, we have to make sure we can find some resin. I haven't found any as yet, but you know, I've only just got here. Uh, this is wonderful as well. We've got some borax bits, so I'm going to grab some borax. And we have larch wood as well. I'm not entirely sure what larch looks like. So, as we have made our hey, saw these days, uh, let's have a look at larch. Let's have a look at larch, yeah? Is it, is it, is it like a super, super light coloured wood again? Um... Oh, that's lovely and clean though, isn't it? That's lovely and clean. Slightly different to the bold cypress I was building with um, in the actual Rusty Gear server. I like that. I like that one. Yeah, so we are coming to collecting wood. And one, to, and one thing I have noticed as well, um, when you're collecting wood now, um, basically to chop the tree down depends upon the size of the tree, not the amount of leaves. Now, um, the odd eight mentioned this in one of his videos is that, you know, chopping down trees now, uh, the speed of chopping down a tree depends upon the size of the tree now. And I wasn't too sure myself, but yeah, it really is. So it doesn't matter how many leaves you have on top, it's basically, it all it all comes down to, this, to the actual size of the actual tree itself. Which is, I think, a little bit in more in keeping with the whole realism factor. Let's, uh, and, I, and, I, and I want to collect as much wood as possible, and then I'm gonna. I don't know where to mark it down. There's more borax over here as well. So we got borax there and borax there. Right, so let me just bring up the map again. I'll zoom in. I'm gonna say borax for this area. So, what's the obsession with the borax? I hear you say. What's the obsession with the borax? Um. Basically, borax is a brilliant replacement for the very, very much elusive limestone. Um, as most of you probably know, uh, limestone is hard to come by. It's not, it's, 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 you don't find it everywhere. I have to be careful because we've got gravity on as well. So, about, yeah, borax basically can be used as a replacement for limestone when you're making your leather. So when you, when, you, when you are making your backpacks. And I basically want to skip um, a few processes when it comes to... Um, well, when it basically comes to the the whole storage and inventory. So guys, I was just basically swimming across the lake to where, to where basically our starter base is. And I noticed an interesting thing. All right, keep, uh, keep a look out to the bottom of the screen where the hunger bar and the health bar is. Wow, they didn't muck around with the whole breathing on the water, did they? And down we go. That's right. Uh, this is in pre-release form. This is already um, already active. Wow. I was hoping for a little bit more. Here's something. I cherish the fact even more now that I got to swim, swim, with, the, swim with the fishies in the last episode. But, yeah. We have... Uh, we have an oxygen meter now when we're underneath the water. Oh, sadness. <laughs> Am I going, by the way? You can't even basically stop now. I'm still looking at map. I'm going to map. Um, um, where the camera? What the thing here? Yeah? Oh, there it is. Oh, right, that's why I need to be going. Oh. That way, that way. Uh, I don't really want to roll with the punches. I must admit. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's with the lag? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Come on! Shouldn't have any lag at all. There we go. Right, so we are looking for borax. We shouldn't be that far down, to be honest. He says. Now we do have plenty of copper to make another copper pickaxe if we need to. So if I break this one, it's not the end of the world, which is quite good. Um, oh, there we go. 
but yeah, so. With the borax, you basically collect it, you grind it. Ah, oh. Bronze, bronze, bronze. Right, okay. But I will meet you back at the base because I've already found some tin, so no, 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 game. <laughs> and I will, um, come on, let me up. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to meet you back at the base because I, I, I have actually already found some tin. I just haven't mined it up yet. So, uh, yeah, I'll meet you over there. Look, so guys, we're back at the stuff shack, which is cool. Yeah, so, I think I'm on map. This is where I found the tin deposits, so it's just straight this way. Um, I haven't disposed of that wolf yet, so he is around somewhere. Um, I know I mentioned him quite a few times in the last episode. Oh, wow, excuse me. Uh, I did, yeah, I did mention him quite a few times in the last episode, but um, I've not seen him as yet. But I do know he's around, so we're looking out for a black wolf. Just, you know, we're just to be a little bit careful. Just a little bit careful. He also found another ruin over here as well. What's all this? Just flint. I don't really need a flint at the moment. Yeah, I found another ruin over this way. This is a lovely area, by the way. It's, 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 this is probably going to be an area where I'm going to want to build, you know, the actual main base. Maybe circling her around. It does dip down into a cave system, which is I'm not particularly, not particularly that happy about. But um, I think it might be a lovely area. Right, let me go around. There is a way of getting round there without having to basically go down there. So, go up here. so yeah, um, oh, well, um, thank you very much for the continued support of the series. It's been really, really nice to see um, a lot of people enjoying the new 1.17 features. Uh, and obviously, it's been really nice for people who've been enjoying the series in general. Some cracking comments, some brilliant comments I've had. Um, oh, this is the actual brewing I was talking about. Put this one here. Uh, and the uh, tin should be somewhere around about here. Not here. Is it over here? There we go. So tin. All right, so guys, I'm going to collect up the tin ore, and then we're going to have to, then we're going to have to make our very first bronze pig packs, which is not bad for episode number four. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to basically crack on with uh, the mining, and then we're going to be. I'll bring you back when I'm basically about to pour the bronze pig packs. All right, guys. I'll see you all in a second. As I bring you back quite quickly, then out there. Uh, I found 19 pieces of poor, poor chunks of cast around, which is 10. Uh, but we have a bit of a problem. Uh, the wolf's upstairs. Um, I don't know if he's going to move away or not, uh, but I heard, I heard him this week howling as if he was like on top of me. Uh, I think we just have to make a run for it and hope for the best. and. So if he attacks me, I'll try to defend myself best I can, but this is me, and there is no guarantees over anything. Right, so where is he then? Because I literally, it was like clear as day, so I knew it was close somewhere. Where are you? No. Okay, guys, we'll make a run for the old shack. I think it's probably gonna be a best bet. Things the issue is that although killing the wolf will basically sort out whoa 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 <laughs> although killing the wolf will sort out the wolf problem but it won't sort out the wolf problem permanently. Uh wolves spawn and they usually have a spawn area. So if I just kill that wolf another wolf will spawn anyway. So the actual issue is, do I kill it or do I trap it? I am tempted just to trap it for the time being. Um, at least basically another wolf won't spawn in its place. But yeah, so that's my <laughs> that's my like, fundamental issue at the moment. Right, clear me image there. I can bring you down. And we'll grab you. Basically, see how much tin we can get. It's poor quality. We should get a decent amount though. So we've got, we've got 24. Uh, so I need you. And I need my copper. Thank you. And the ratio, I'm pretty sure the ratio is 9 to 1. So they're 9 to 1 or 8 to 2. Tim Bronze, 45 to 4. So you do the math. Because <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, we'll do 3. 
So I'll put two, three, a little bit more. Probably about that there. And uh, there we go. So we did go through with six pieces. So that's 300 units of Timbron, which is great. So we can basically get our pickaxe, which would be fantastic. Uh, we can get a shovel and we can get an axe as well, which would be great. So yeah, right, I'm going to cut this down uh, and then uh, um, we'll basically start collecting the borax and obviously we need to start collecting the orc wood as well. So start basically um, doing some leather. Okay, right, I'll, get, I'll crack on. I will crack on the best of my abilities. All right, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, so, um, I think it's time we get the bowels going, so straight down. Oop. Oop. Take you out. Uh, and I want to get uh, quite a few bowels, to be honest. Uh, one. So we need one for the borax. We need one for the weak tannin. We need one for the strong tannin. Mm. I think I'm going to get that again as well. So I can do quite a bit of leather all in one go. Yeah, I think that's. I think that'd be quite good. Right, um, <laughs> already running out of room. So I have made a little room down here. Come down here. And I suppose I could put it here, couldn't I? So you, you, uh, and you, and you. There we go. And put you in my inventory as well. You, you, and um, da, 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 this one can go. I don't know. There, there we go. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, so I did originally put this as a cellar, but I suppose we could still use it as a cellar. So we're going to have um, the borax solution inside here, which we're the level we're going to. And then we're going to have the weak tannin, which will be in this one. And then we'll have the strong tannin. And the strong tannin is just basically you take the weak tannin and then you do it again. So basically, weak tannin is five pieces of orc to make weak tannin, and then with your weak tannin, you put another five pieces of orc to make your strong tannin. And the process is leather goes inside the borax, and then it goes inside the weak tannin, and then it goes inside the strong tannin, and there we go. You get some leather. Um, but I'm going to need a bucket as well now. Let me up, let me up, let me up. Uh, oh, yeah, we've also got the, uh, the bronze items as well. So, we, got, uh, we have a, um, a tin bronze pickaxe, tin bronze shovel, and we have a tin bronze axe as well, which is great stuff. Next, I want to get um, some. Do I have any? I need to make some rope, you see, because obviously the bucket requires planks and rope. And I think I should be able to get it from. I think I can get it from reeds. If not, um, basically, it's like, I think it's either reeds or it's the vines. Uh, and there's t there's tons of vines at the jungle area. Um, but I need to find some reeds, to be honest. Right, let me have a little look up and down this area because I need to collect some orc as well. Uh, and once I've got both of them, obviously I can get, get a bucket and we can have a water source inside and we can basically keep on processing on with the leather for today. Because I still want to basically get round to source, source, sourcing out the farm area. See, there's a wolf over there. Do you see the wolf? Do you see the wolf? <laughs> I'm paranoid with wolves at the moment. So, I'm really, really enjoying this series at the moment. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm going to have plenty of builds I'm going to be doing as well. There it is, the wolf's over there. I'm going to stay away from the wolf. Because I do know there's some orc around here. I know for a fact there's some, there's some orc around here. So I'm really enjoying this series, uh, the whole 1.17 and the new, the new mechanics. We're going to be getting some really, really good builds up. But I do, I have basically mentioned this in the past, uh, that I do want to have a second series. And the second series, I, I'm, I am really, really leaning towards modded Minecraft. And I think instead of uh, chopping up the um, the reeds, I think I'm just going to go for the um, the vines. It's so much easier to collect vines from a redwood area. Um, not the end vines, though. I really want the end vines. 
Uh, Mr. Trader Man. There we go. And so, if I do this, we should be able to go. Yep, there we go. We've got some rope. And do you and go around. No, not that bit there. Take that out. I'm pretty sure it's that, isn't it? For a bucket. Pretty sure. Bucket, what am I missing? What the heck? Since when? Since when? Ah, oh, crud. <laughs> well, that put a bit of dampening on things, doesn't it? That was basically getting on really, really well. <laughs> My God. Come on, seriously? Ah, oh, um. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> well, that's a me. I must have well, well cooked my food up. I must have get my food cooking now. What a really, really irritating thing that is. I could have sworn it used to be a thing. Oh, is, it, is, this, is that a modded thing? Is that a modded thing? Is that not really a, a vanilla? I could have sworn it was, though. H. Yeah, it was. It must simply be just um, a modded thing. I sworn it was in a normal game. You'll let me know anyway. You'll let me know if, if, if it used to be in a normal game, you could use vines to make a bucket. So, I'm going to chop down the oak tree. I'm, I'm still going to proceed, proceed as normal. Um, uh, and I think I've got a little bit of flax anyway, so I might still be able to make at least one flax for the bucket anyway. Alright, so I'm going to chop down the oak tree, and probably have to chop down another oak tree somewhere, uh, and then I will meet you back at the main base. tell you something uh, I managed to get the bucket finally please tell me basically I'm going mad or insane or something like that but the old crafting recipe for the bucket you could use either the actual flax uh, twine um, flax, yeah yeah flax twine uh, or you could use raw which you can get from from vines but no the buckets now it's um, bucket wooden bucket it's just, has it, has it always been flax twine? Too sure. Also, also, another recipe change as well. 
shields have been completely overhauled and I mean completely overhauled. A lot of people were complaining about shields who were no use to anybody until you got a saw. Well, the new crude shield is basically sticks and uh, reeds, simple as that. Uh, not going to be durability is 80, so there's not much. Block chance is still 90, still high, still really high. Then, if you want to go into like the better shields type of thing, um, yeah, that's been changed as well because you need a tin bronze hoop, uh, you need a tin bronze boss. What's that? Tim Brunn's boss, smithing, I'm guessing. New recipe and smithing. Uh, and then some, um, I prepared the old recipe. I'm not, you know, I'm not really funny, but I prepared the old recipe. And this is, this is, are there more? No, then you get to the old fancy ones as well. So all, all these are shield recipes. I mean, the nice thing is that the actual shields now, you can actually, let me just go down here. You should be, I should be able to just, yeah. So you can actually hang them now, which is always, a little bit of it. So you can collect like you can, you can basically collect all the shields and basically hang them around, which would be quite nice, wouldn't it? In all the different wood types and all the different ones, because there's quite a lot there. So yeah, there's another recipe change as well. So getting the bucket was an absolute faff. Uh, I made myself a quail, which you saw, uh, and uh, I got myself some borax, which is over here. Thank you very much. And I need some oak as well. So I take you so bad. No, I need more now. A bit more. There we go. Now let's go downwards. Let's go downwards. Right, so I filled up the waters. So I've got an infinite, infinite water source over there. So in the first one, we're going to basically put the borax. Now, I can't remember what the ratio is, so I'll put in half first. Uh, nope. There we go. Nope, don't need that much. So there was 32 there, so how's your math? So 20. So 20 pieces of borax in 50 litres, which gives you the diluted borax. Uh, now this one, uh, you need five. You need five, so one, two, three, four, five. And that will give you the wheat tanning, so seal. And that one, we also need another five, so. Yep. There we go. And that one, I need another five, so you stay there. I'm out of me, thank you very much. So, weak tanning, strong tanning, weak tanning, and then so we need strong tanning for that one. So, one, two, three, four, five. And sit, sit, seal, seal, thank you. Wowzers. Uh, so, I'm guessing if I've only got. There, so let me. Um, it should be probably 30, okay, 25 litres to 10 borax. So now, leather. <laughs> uh, you, so I want you and I want you. Okay, you go down and we'll put in the big ones inside there and seal. There we go. That's going to basically take a little while. And we'll put, see how much we can put inside this one. I don't think I'll take the old 13. No, I'm not going to take the old 13. I'm going to do half of it. Let me check. So it'll take seven. It'll take eight. Take nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. So twelve. So there we go. That's the leather sorted out. <laughs> That's going to take a little while to, to actually cut, but um, uh, pretty soon we should have some um, we should have some leather backpacks, which is excellent. Right, guys. Um, okay. Right. So um, I'm going to have a kit. Bring it to morning, and then we're going to basically measure out this new farm that we're going to be doing. Okay, guys. Stick with me. We're making our way through. We've, we've, we've done so many things so far today. We've made a quern, and we've made a bucket. And we basically got our barrels going, and we've got leather going. We found out about a shield, and we found out about you know there's new things in the smithy now, which we have to make for shields. And yes, yeah, so super informative today, which is excellent. Right, I'm gonna have a kip, and then we're gonna basically start measuring out the farmland as well. All right, guys, I shall see you shortly. Guys, good morning again. Right, let's test this because there's a drift around here somewhere. I've not hit him yet. Let's see how many hits he actually takes. I've got full health, so I should be okay. The guy shouldn't kill me. I've got one of my door over there. 
I'm pretty sure I've got another one up here. So let's see how much he takes. So, so. One. Two. Three. Four. Four hits. Four, six, four so it's four hits of a copper. You tell me if that's um, same as normal or as. <laughs> right, so uh, the go the new farm is going to go in this area here. Now I've got 64 fences. Um, which I need less than 64 fences. You know, as I have two gates, so we're going to use this area here. I'm just going to place the actual new soil on top of it. Yeah, I'm going to place the new soil on top of it, but I want to basically mark out the area first. So we'll 16 across. So I we'll think we'll start from here. Yeah, start from here. 1, 2, 4, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16! Yeah, yeah! Okay, right. I'm going to clear this out uh, and then I'll bring you back. Okie dokie, guys. Right, so I've got my seats. I've done uh, some of the gardening outside. Let me take you round. Oh, so there's some monkeys over there. Cool. And I'll bring you up here. Now I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping this will be good enough that it does not spawn any rabbits or anything like that. Because I don't want rabbits this time here. Uh, so we do have the flat seeds, we have spelt seeds, we have rice seeds, we have rice seeds, and then we have parsnips as well. Uh, and I do want to make a little ditch as well to catch any bunnies. So I think we're gonna go over here. Now I'm trying out a new design. I'm going to try this design now. So only two across. Uh, and then we basically got the water to hydrate as well. So basically that should hydrate that block and that block and that block and that block. And vice versa, that should hydrate that one and that, that one a little bit. And I'm hoping this this system works not too bad. So I've, I've, I've buried off the other half of the actual farm because I don't have enough medium fertility soil. And I want to make sure I'm doing it with medium fertility. So, okay, right. So, um, let's just start down here, me thinks. So, we'll go flat first. So, I didn't, test, I didn't check the temperature out. So, the temp also the temperature is 13 degrees. Oh, you throw stones, you little monkey. So, that's my seven flax fibers. Jerks. Tell you something. But, uh, and we'll do basically a little bit of a gap and then we'll start here with the um, spelt seed. Let's just, let me just have a quick check on the what the thingy is. What the thingy is. So N N K P. I'm ignoring him. Throw stones as much as he wants. I'm ignoring him. So that's a K. Uh, a bishop. Rice. Oh, okay, that's a K as well. So we'll stick all the Ks in the middle. Ignore the monkeys around me. All they want is attention. Don't give them the satisfaction. That's what I say. Let me give it a satisfaction of attention. And we'll do the P down here. So P. Oh, shut up. Uh, and then we've got two ends, and we can do the ends over here. And then we do with these ends. <laughs> okay, fine. Right, so basically that is the that is the actual uh, farm up and running. So guys, wow, uh, there's tons we've done tons today. So. We've set up the farm, which is great stuff. We've got that running now, which is fantastic. We basically got ourselves some bronze tools, which is brilliant. We've collected some borax, which is brilliant as well. Um, we've expanded out our our little area a little bit. You can see it on the map, lovely. And just just in oh wow, seriously, people are rude, aren't they? He's gonna throw another stone at me in a minute. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Let's back up, let's just back up there. You go. Back up uh, and pick up both and, and sit there. In there. Uh, oh, oh, things are going wrong anyway. Anyway, guys, um, so yeah, that's going to be me for dumb for today. Um, hopefully, 
ignore him. He just wants attention. Hopefully, basically, I'm going to live through this outro long enough. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, think you should stop. Please just YouTube stop. Like, comment, subscribe. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, guys. Love you all. I'll see you soon. Bye, bye for now. Bye.